and NRL vid zero nine zero back in our video today. Today I'll be into my round eighteen NRL tips for twenty twenty. So let's get into it. And uh, it all kicks off between the West Tigers and the South Sydney Rabbitohs at Bankwest Stadium on Thursday night. Um, so the team for the Tigers, so the Tigers don't have any don't have any changes apart from uh, Michael Cheekham. Um, he could be is he playing? No, he's not. Sorry, uh, Michael Cheekham. But I saw that he could be playing, so he's not named anywhere. Um, it looks like there's no changes for the Tigers after last week's win. For the Rabbitohs, uh, Corey Allen will again play fullback and leaving Alex Johnson on the wing. Um, Dan Gagai will go. So, yeah, Dan Gagai will go also go on the wing, and and Jed Cartwright will join the bench for the uh, Rabbitohs, and that's um, the team right there for both sides. For this game, I'll be tipping the uh, Rabbitohs to win 20, 22 points to sixteen. I just, I just feel like Rabbitohs have a little bit too much quality, and I feel like Cody Walker and Adam Reynolds will get them home. So. Uh, Rabbitohs to win. Uh, Friday night footy at Ains Stadium, 6 p.m. It's between the Bulldogs and the Seagulls. Um, so the team for the Bulldogs uh, looks like that Kerrod Holland and Marcelo Montoya both been dropped and replacing them in the centres are Remus Smith and Dallas Sinis Lesniak. Uh, and also Jane Ockenball uh, returns to the Bulldogs in the wing. Uh, Jack Avrilo will replace Kieran Four in the in the halves at five eight for Lock and Lewis. Uh, Aaron Tom will shift from lock to prop, and Luke Thomas will start um, in the starting team. And Brian Wakeham joins the bench for the Bulldogs, and that's the team right there for them. Uh, for the Seagulls, um, uh, Morgan Harper will play second game for Manly, and he'll, play, and he'll be playing against his old club, who are the Bulldogs. Uh, Abbas Miski joins the wing, replacing George Tafua. And Kay Cuss replaces Josh Schuster, who unfortunately, Josh Schuster injured his uh, ankle, seeing the most injury and be out for the rest of the year. Uh, so, yeah, Kay Cuss comes into the, into the team. Uh, Jack Kazeski again starts the, for Seagulls. And um, the team's the rest of the same. But Ben Trevojevic is an extended bench. So, Ben Trevojevic could, could make his debut, you never know. And Luke Metcalf is also in line to make his debut. Luke Metcalf. Uh, but guys, for this game, I'll be tipping the Seagulls to win. Surely this is the week they get up and win this game. I think Manly will win 24 points to 12. I feel like that um, Tavita Funa will have a big game, in my opinion, Tavita Funa at the back. And I feel like that Fanua Blake will have a big game as well. So off the back of some of those players like Cherry Evans as well, Fanua Blake and Funa, I feel like Manly will get the win. And uh, it's 24-12 Manly win over Bulldogs. Uh, now the second game on Friday night, this is the main game basically. It's between the Panthers and the Eels at pa Panthers Stadium in Penrith. Uh, the team for the Panthers, so, uh, well, it looks like the only change that starting team is Isaiah Yo returns from his ser serious concussion against the Tigers, he uh, copped. And, um, Charlie Stane's been named in the reserves for the Panthers, so, and, uh, yeah, Kirk Capels, yeah, the team is in reserves for the Panthers. Uh, for the Eels, um, Jay Field will again start 5 8 for the injured Dylan Brown. And um, <clears throat> and uh, that seems to be uh, the team right there for the. Um, oh, yeah, Reed Marnie is in play apparently, but you never know. Reed Marnie could be out, but he's. Uh, we'll see how he goes on uh, on uh, um, Friday off the captain's run, if he's able to play or not. But for this game, I was tipping the Panthers to win 20 points to six, 16 over the Eels. 20 points to 16 win over the Eels uh, for the Panthers. Uh, I just feel like Panthers will be too good at home. I feel like that Nathan, Cle Nathan Cleary will have another big game, as well as um, Stephen Crichton, I think, will go ballistic. And so is um, Apposite Coruscant. I think Appy will have a big game for Panthers. So uh, Panthers to win. <coughs> Now, Super Sunday all kicks off between the Dragons and Raiders at Wind Stadium in Wollongong. Um, yeah, so Dragons and Raiders are the kick off Super Saturday. Uh, the team for the Dragons, so uh, Cody Ramsey, who was who was a standout in the all uh, in the Perth Nines uh, back in February, uh, will make his NRL debut on the wing, and um, and uh, Kate Ellis starts a prop, and Paul Vaughan returns from suspension and starts a prop as well, and. Um, that's the team right there for the Dragons. And Ravalau was out, so that's why um, Ramsey replaced Ravalau on the wing. For the drag, oh, sorry, for the Raiders, um, Dora Parnas shifts, in, shifts into the centres, uh, replacing, oh, who, who's he replacing? 
Uh, oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I can't really see. But, yeah, Rapana plays in the centres. Uh, and... Josh Josh has been named for the Raiders in the starting team, but uh, yeah, like I said about Reed Marnie, we'll see how um, Josh Papali pulls up on Saturday and see if he's well, whether he's fit or not for um, the Dragons clash. Uh, and um, Sia Soliol has been named in injury reserves, uh, so he could be a, a possible late in for the Dragon uh, for the Raiders. You never know. Uh, but for this game, I'll be tipping the Raiders. I feel like they'll be a little bit too strong. I think. The team is full of quality, and I feel like Dragon is really struggling at the moment. There, he's gone, uh, sadly for them, after last week's loss to the Cowboys. I feel like Raiders will be too good. So, uh, Raiders to win 26 points to 10 over the Dragons. Now, the second game is Super Saturday. It's between the Gold Coast Titans and the Brisbane Broncos at Seabus Super Stadium in the Gold Coast. Uh, the team for the Titans, so Bo Fermor will shift from back row to centres. Uh, and replacing both Fermor in the back row is Keegan Kipgrave and Tyrone Peach will start at lock again. And um, yeah, and Brian Kelly's yeah, that's why both Fermor, both Fermor starting in the centres for Brian Kelly. And Jamin Jaliffe will drop out and replacing Jamin Jaliffe at starting prop. I believe it's um, I believe it's Milwaukee Federico who actually starts for um, um, Jamin Jaliffe. I could be wrong, but I think that's who starts right there. And, uh, yeah, that's the team right there. And, and Jaira's returns for the Titans. That's the team right there for the Titans. For the Broncos, uh, Tom Deaton and Sean O'Sullivan are the Broncos halves again for this match. Um, and Alex, Alex Glenn returns to the Broncos, pushing Ben Teo to the bench, and Xavier Coates joins the bench as well. That's the team right there for the Broncos. For this game, obviously for the Titans to win only just, I feel like Titans will just get a win here, but I feel like Broncos will, be, will um, I, it's crazy, but I give Broncos, a, I give Broncos a bit of a chance actually, you can call me crazy, but I, give, I do give Broncos a chance, but I'm not going to tip them, I'm tipping the Titans by two points, uh, 22 points to 20, I could be wrong, but I will be going with the uh, Titans for this match. Now, the last game is Super Saturday. It's between the Roosters and Knights at, C at Sydney Cricket Ground um, in Sydney. Uh, yeah, so team for the Roosters. Uh, look, looks like there's not many changes at all. Uh, Freddie last six the one who drops out of the team from that Butcher, I believe, who returns for the Roosters. And, um, yeah, and Jake Friend returns to the uh, Roosters as well. And that's the team right there for the Roosters. For the Knights, uh, obviously, I heard Callum Ponga and many other people heard this. That like Callum Ponga's been dropped. Oh, no, sorry, not dropped. Um, he has a broken nose, and, um, yeah, he, he's been re rested for this game. So, replacing him at fullback, it's Tex Hoy. Uh, Edric Lee returns to the Knights, and uh, Mason Lino will um, play in the halves again. Uh... Herman S. S. Uh, will replace Mitch Barnett, and Barnett's also been rested for this game. Um, and that's the team right there for Newcastle. For this game, and, and Harmel Hunt's also out, replacing Harmel Hunt, I believe it's um, Edric Leib, and then shifting to the centres, it's uh, Nari Tawala. Uh, for this game, I'll be tipping the Roosters. I feel like, I think they'll be too good. Uh, I think without Ponga, it might be a little bit too much for the Knights to handle. And they're missing Mitch Barnett, who's a workhorse and all that. So I think Roosters will get the win. 30 points to 18 over Knights. I think they'll be a little bit too good, the Roosters. But I know why Knights are dropping uh, arresting players. It's because that the Knights have confirmed their place in the, in the top eight and finals of this year. So that's why they're resting a few players for this match. Now, uh, Sunday footy will all kick off at Sunshine Coast Stadium in the Sunshine Coast. It's between the Storm and the Cowboys. Um... So the team for Storm. So I heard that Ryan Pappenhausen's uh, out with a foot injury. So replacing Ryan Pappenhausen at fullback, it's um, Nico Hines. Suliasi Vunavali returns to the Storm for uh, Isaac Lumilu. Uh, so Isaac Lumilu will, will go to the bench for this match. And um, and dropping out looks like it's, it will be uh, Chris Lewis who will drop um, from the bench. And uh, Christian Welch is also out. Uh, for the Cowboys, um, Eastern Masters will uh, play again in the, in the centres. Um, and uh, doesn't seem to be any changes. So that's it. No changes for the um, for the Cowboys this week after last week's win against the Dragons. For this game, I'll be tipping the Storm to win. Um, I think they'll have a big win as well. I think Storm will win 36 points to 12. Could be more, but I went 36 points to 12. Storm win over Cowboys. 
I just think Storm have, will be too good. I think Cameron Munster have a big game. I feel like that um, Suliasi Vunavalu's return will be pretty good. And I feel like that guys like Cameron Smith and uh, Jerome Hughes will do pretty well as well. Uh, I think Valentine Holmes uh, will, have a, will, will have a decent game for the Cowboys, but won't be enough for a win though for the Cowboys. So Storm to win. Now, the last game of round 18, it all ends off with the Sharks and the Warriors at Nestrada Jubilee Stadium against, yeah, at Nestrada Jubilee Stadium. The team for the Sharks, so, uh, obviously, Chad Townsend's been suspended with that shoulder charge in Camelopongo last week against the Knights. So, replacing um, Chad Townsend, it's uh, Sean Johnson, who does return from um, injury, I believe, a groin injury, so Sean Johnson replaces him in the halfback role. Uh, and, um... Andrew for feet will start off the bench again, and uh, that seems. And Wade Graham is also out, so replacing Wade Graham in the starting back row, it is um, Sasifa Talakai, and joining the bench will be uh, Royce Hunt, and uh, the team for the Warriors. Uh, so the team for the Warriors, there seems to be no changes, but the only changes are that George Jennings and Daniel Alvaro are both eligible to play for this game because they couldn't play last week against the Eels because that's. So basically, they're basically already um, contracted to that club, but they're just on loan at the moment. So they can't play against their current club, who are the Eels, but just on loan at the moment, the Warriors. So, yeah, George Jennings and Alvaro will be back for the Warriors. Uh, for this game, now, this was pretty tough. This is pretty tough. I'm, i I got a feeling I might be wrong with this tip, but this is just my opinion. Um, this is just my opinion. This is very tough to tip, but I'm tipping the Sharks 18 points to 14. I think that because... Sean Johnson, I think, will have a pretty good game. And, uh, obviously, Sharks um, go all right with Johnson back. And that's where they're... That's, um, yeah, they usually look a bit more consistent with Johnson that side. Um, I think Warriors are definitely a big chance of winning it. But I just feel like that... Just, I feel like that maybe they're... Uh, not, I don't know, but their confidence could be a little bit shot after last week's uh, loss to the Eagles just, which puts their finals hopes in... Um, a lot of strife, and, uh, yeah, look, I just, this is just my opinion, but I think Shark would just get the win here by four. Um, but, guys, that's my round 18 tips for uh, the NRL. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and um, I'll see you later on for my the Fantastic Rugby League show episode number 13. I couldn't do it yesterday because of technical uh, difficulty. So, guys, see you then.